Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on minor intervals in music where we will explore this concept and learn how to recognize and create various types of minor intervals. Minor intervals are important in music theory and used in various genres of music alongside major intervals. They affect the emotional and tonal qualities of music and are essential to understanding of music theory. Minor intervals are often used to create a sense of tension or dissonance in music which can then be resolved by moving to a major interval. This is known as tension and release principle in music theory. The minor interval is made of two notes, the root note and the minor interval note. A minor interval note is one semitone or half step smaller than its corresponding major interval. For example, if the interval between G and A is a major second, the minor second is an interval between G and A flat. You can also think of a minor interval as being a flattened major interval. Therefore, the root and the minor interval node are always one half step apart in this interval. Any interval that has a distance of one half step is called a minor second. Here's what it sounds like. Some songs that can help you recognize this interval are the Pink Panther Theme, Dvorak's New World Symphony, and Hard Day's Night by The Beatles. All the song examples of the intervals are added in the description below. Another example of a minor interval is a minor third. For example, if the root note is G, the minor third interval note would be B flat, which is exactly three half steps or one and a half whole step above G. Any interval that is three scale degrees apart and has this distance is called a minor third. Here's what it sounds like. Some songs that can help you recognize minor third are Brahms's Lullaby, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple, and Mad World by Gary Jules. Another example of a minor interval is a minor sixth. If the root note is G, the minor sixth interval note above would be E flat, which is exactly eight half or whole half steps above G. Any interval that is six scale degrees apart and has this distance is called minor sixth, and here's what it sounds like. Some songs that can help you recognize this interval are In My Life by The Beatles, Mozart's Requiem, and We Are Young by Fun. The largest simple minor interval is a minor seventh. If the root note is G, the minor seventh interval note above would be F, which is exactly 10 half or 5 whole steps above G. Any interval that is 7 scale degrees apart and has this distance is called minor seventh. Here's what it sounds like. The songs that can help you recognize minor 7th are The Winner Takes It All by ABBA and Somewhere from the West Side Story. It's important to note that minor intervals are not only found in minor keys, they can be used in any key. In conclusion, minor intervals refer to the distance between two notes that is one semitone smaller than a major interval. They are often used to create tension and dissonance in music and can be found in all keys. Thank you for watching and I hope this video gave you a better understanding of minor intervals in music. If you need extra practice, check the links in the description below to find worksheets. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time!